Happy Thursday, everyone. This is the MuseCast for August 14th, 2008. My name's Keith. Well, first thing today is I'm going to bring back my what I'm listening to portion because there's so much good stuff going on. Sometimes I tack it on to the end of the video, but here it is at the beginning. Here we go. Chris Delmhurst is a songwriter I met when I lived in Boston. This is her fifth solo album. Lots of experimental arrangements. Really great. Try and get it if you can. Amy Ray is half of the Indigo Girls. This is her third solo album. A little more hard edge than she does with the Acoustic Indigos. I love it. Curio is a band I hadn't heard of till someone named Angela McCluskey did the lead vocals on this record. It's a bunch of jazz and pop standards. Famous Blue Raincoats, my favorite on that one. Ani DeFranco's third live DVD, live at Babeville in her own venue that she built in Buffalo, New York from a abandoned church building. And this is a novel by Jeanette Winterson. It's called Tangle Wreck, and it's kind of about the ways we depend on time. You guys, I know it's dark. I'm sorry about that. So that's my playlist this week. A follow-up to last week's episode, I did play that show at the Coffee House. And of all the cover songs I found in the Pop Rock Fake Book, some of them I sampled for you last week, I ended up playing Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Really sad, but really pretty song. I'll just tell you a little bit more about what's going on. Basically, I just don't have the money to record a CD right now. I've got all these new songs and I've played some of them for you here on Newscast. I can't afford to record it, I can't afford to have it printed, and I don't have the time to work on any of it because of my day job. So I'm not sure that's exactly a problem, but it's not an ideal situation in which to create a work of art. So I'm thinking about that. If anybody has any suggestions, I would be happy to hear them or read them. One thing I am working on is putting together a show with a fellow singer-songwriter named Ryan Mintz. He is currently out of Colorado and he's been in Milwaukee, which is nearby, a few times. That's one project I can work on. I'm real excited for Travis's film premiere coming up in just a week and a half or so. So congratulations on that, Travis. I can't be there. I have a church gig that weekend. So who knows what the next week will bring. I'm not sure, but I am sure that I'll tell you about it a week from now. Take care till then. Bye-bye.